Hey guys, so uh, today we're going to talk to you guys a little bit about uh, Fort Syme and what that was like. That this was the end, I guess, of my backpacking in the hostel journey. Uh, and in Fort Syme I got some time to spend with my relatives who I had never fully uh, got to know maybe once or twice when I was a little child. They came over to Canada and Vancouver on the West Coast and got to know me, but uh, I never had a chance to really get to know them because I was just running, a running around a million miles an hour. So. Uh, in Fort Syme, when I first arrived, actually, I missed a, one of those crucial connections on my way in, and I was hours late. Uh, thankfully, to my my great aunt, uh, I guess one of my relatives, Nicole, Nikki, and Epson was the father of the host family that I was staying with, and Nicholas was their son, and then Ursula uh, also was in Fort Syme, uh, helping shuffle me around, but. Nicole and Nicholas were there uh, waiting for me hours and hours and hours and they had a little cardboard sign with my name on it and I was so happy to see them when uh, I got in there and we just uh, spent the first night just drinking Hefeweizen and beer uh, and catching up or getting to know each other I guess uh, and getting comfortable with everything that was going to go on so basically from there our time and my time in um, Fort Syme was quite active. Uh, Basically every day we were doing some kind of activity followed by the evenings in the beer gardens Drinking beer or at home drinking beer. There was lots of beer lots of Haven Vites and my favorite beer my mom's favorite beer and now I kind of understand why uh, I like the beer I guess my, I don't know, I understand now why my mom would always come home from Germany with a bottle of beer and say don't drink this beer because it's my beer so um, I guess the first thing we did when we weren't uh, you know drinking beer and such is uh, we went to uh, a bunch of little places in town obviously the first place I went to was Nicole and Dirk's uh, Fort Sign uh, Prof Profi Mart uh, Intersport uh, that's like a sport check style uh, retail store that they own there so I got a chance to kind of walk around their store and just see what what their everyday life was like and I got a chance to meet some of my other family Dirk uh, and his son and then from there um, the next day or a couple days later we went to the Black Forest with Ursula and Nicholas and one of Nicholas's friends Rafi uh, all of which were awesome uh, to hang out with and spend time with the Black Forest was absolutely phenomenal basically you just walked continually on this nice long looping trail in the Black Forest uh, out of this little town um, and slowly on the walk you'd get higher and higher and higher and higher in the treetops and then eventually you know along the way there were little kind of descriptions of what each area and elevation of the forest was like in the Black Forest and eventually you got to this massive spiraling structure that allowed you to walk all the way up it and get all the way above the Black Forest and kind of see the grandness of this section of the Black Forest that we were at. And it was just really cool because the town where this all kind of stemmed out of, it was actually a big mountain biking, downhill mountain biking uh, town. Uh, and so you kind of took the you took this gondola up uh, to the top of the mountain and you could take your... <laughs> take your mountain bikes on the gondola with you and you know just get a lift up the mountain ride the trails down get a lift up the mountain ride the trails down so that was a uh, pretty cool the other thing we ended up doing in Fort Syme uh, for the kind of the first portion of the time that I was there was we went to a gasometer which is basically this big big cylinder structure um, that back in the day was filled with gas for the town to use to heat up uh, their buildings and such and it was kind of restored and revamped and repurposed into this 360 mural uh, from a famous artist. I'm, the name's not coming to my mind and I don't have the name in my book unfortunately um, but the, basically it was a big 360 painting about a hundred feet tall approximately. It was huge, took years to complete and the 360 was just a uh, a time in uh, in Rome so basically you got down there and and you were standing beside the wall and the people you're standing beside were you know real size human beings painted on the wall but then you could also walk up this structure in the middle of this cylinder building and take a look at um, all the other kind of levels and get 
and different heights of this massive painting of what it was like to be in Rome. And the meanwhile, there's the sound uh, track going on that kind of gets you into that soundscape of what Rome was really like. So it was just a really cool experience to kind of be in Germany, be in this get old refurbished building and repurposed building and, and see one of these kind of internationally famous art exhibits in Pforzheim, which isn't necessarily the largest of German cities. Um, the other thing we ended up doing um, one of the days was we actually headed out to do a little day road trip with Ursula to Odenkalken, which is where my grandfather uh, grew up. And at the time of that, uh, when I was in Odenkalken, my grandfather was still with us, unfortunately. Now he's passed, uh, he passed in the spring, uh, early summer. So I think looking back and reflecting on this experience now, it was quite an quite something to be in the, the house where my grandfather grew up in Otakokin, where his family was quite a wealthy family in Otakokin and owned lots of the farming land and the mill and the hydro and, and some of the power stations and whatnot. And it was just a fascinating building to, to go into and see the small doorways that would have been back in the day and to see all the mill work and the mill machinery that was literally just built right into the house. Um, and to see the little turbine at the river that would have generated some power for the house itself while uh, and the mill. So that whole experience was really cool. And, and on top of all that, I actually got a really good chance to ask the owners of the mill who had been really into the history of the, the town and really involved with the history of the town uh, to ask more questions about the history of my grandfather and his family. So I really got to know kind of my past and I ended up being able to draw out a Nice little family tree here. I don't know if I can find it. I'll, I'll probably take a picture of it and put it on the uh, website because uh, I think it's pretty cool and it's a nice record to keep to have this kind of dingy little Chris, Christmas kind of or family tree kind of thing going on. Uh, and then the last thing I ended up doing in Fort Syme, uh, kind of in the first part because I, I bounced around and Fort Syme was my home base, so there's more that I did in, in Fort Syme, but another thing we did in the first go into Fort Syme was that we ended up uh, with Epson, Nicole, and Nicholas. We did a nice bike ride to another nearby community, and we attended a medieval festival, which was pretty awesome. Uh, it was full of lore setting, you know, the beer was dark, the, the mugs were clunky and huge, the food was... I don't even remember what the food was, but it was very medieval setting and everyone was dressed in these medieval gowns and playing medieval instruments and chanting and singing and doing all these activities and you kind of had these little children running around in medieval costumes and it was just really cool. To, you were like in medieval Germany, it felt like, uh, you know, if you really immerse yourself into this little festival. So it was pretty cool. And then from there we ended up going to the pool because basically the whole time I was in Germany, this was the times when their temperature for that summer were up in the high 30s, low 40s. So the temperature was, for me, insanely hot. Um, I think for them it was a little bit hotter than normal, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't terribly unusual. And more on that kind of later, I guess the next city we went to, Ursula and I took a road trip up to Bietefeld for a couple nights to visit some of my other relatives up in the northwest of Germany. So I kind of want to talk to you guys a little bit about that next time. So this is a bit of a shorter video and I hope you guys enjoyed uh, my little first discussion on Fort Syme. And I'm sorry that the delays of videos, my schoolwork has just been piling up and the adventure mode of summer has been on on my, my agenda. So I hope you guys are enjoying these videos and stay in touch for more information about what Bielefeld was like, this small town just out of Hamburg where Dr. Utgard comes from. Uh, so enjoy. Bye-bye guys.